All right. My name is Brian Pitzer. I'm owner of the Northern Angler here in Traverse City, Michigan, and uh, I've been a guide for over 20 years on the local waterways. And today we're going to tie up some really quick and easy egg flies. Salmon, steelhead, trout, they love eggs. And guides, we just don't have a whole lot of time when it comes down to it at the end of the night to get home and tie a fly. So um, this rag egg pattern, a lot of people are like, oh, what's a rag egg? So basically I've taken four different colors here of glow yarn and I'll take one of the big pieces and I'll separate it out into three. So basically I take the big piece like this, separate it out into three pieces, I stack them on my table and then I separate them out into little chunks just like this. And I kind of just stack these up Lay them right on top of this hook. I'm tying on the Gamagatsu C14S. This happens to be a size six. And just two quick turns with the thread. I'm using a Vivas 140 denier thread. Um, and it's basically gonna look just like a chicken wing like that. And then, you know, I can half hitch it or um, I can go ahead and run a, <clears throat> I can run a, uh, try to anyway run a quick half hitch on it but this is just I'm gonna sit down in the evening tie 50 to 100 of these um, in lots of different colors and I'll be kind of ready to go for um, the spring and they turn out really cool just like that you just pull it up trim them and it gives you a, that whole tie-dye effect um, on the new keg and I'm gonna go ahead and just whip up another one of those just in case you didn't see it the first time these are pretty darn easy to to spin up like I said just a little base of thread you know I'm gonna run this right on across boom one two and then I'm just going to divide this, put an X on there, and come up, whip this off, and I'll just show you, a lot of times I'll just do this, because it's just so much faster than trying to pick up the whip finish tool, just a few half hitches, pull this up, tighten her down. And there you go. That is one steelhead catching machine right there. So that is the rag egg. The next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how, if I need to sit down and tie up a bunch of glow bugs, I use this amazing glow bug dispenser. And I'm gonna go ahead, that was a size six, I'm gonna step down to the C14 size 10. Um, I like these size 10 hooks. They're easy on the fish, they're super sharp, they're strong enough, um, and they're, they are mega sharp. So I'm just gonna drop that right in to the vise and just put a little bit of thread there on the front and I'll work this kind of right out to the middle. You lay your egg fly right on there. You pull down fairly hard on that and then here, I'm just going to finish this off. A couple little whip finishes. And trim it right there. And there you go. You've got a pretty, pretty easy egg to tie right there. Now the other thing I can do with this is... make a little bit smaller ball and that's just Always. how much uh, yarn I have coming off the tip of this yeah, sort of. <laughs> so I'm just gonna whip this off boom That 
And this product in there is called McFly Foam, so I might push that back a little. That's going to give me my nice little egg. And then I'm going to take some of this, just spread it out a little, and I'm just going to make an, a veil right over the top of that. And I can use lots of different colors for this. An O cheese would be good. I'm gonna do a sh uh, chartreuse one. Chartreuse and orange is always good. I like to take kind of a dark body um, with the lighter colored veil. So this kind of gives it the, the milky appearance of a freshly fertilized egg. And um, again, super easy, quick to tie. And then I'm going to pull back on this. And once that gets wet, it's going to look super sharp. Looks great in the water. Again, I'll show you a quick another version of that one. And we'll try a different color veil on this. The other way to do a nuke egg, if you don't have the egg shooter, is... I'll literally just take almost dub some yarn on here. Oops. I have nothing on mine or the And so then I'm gonna take this and I'll just simply What's almost that? dub it right here. Yeah. So pretty easy, dub it right on there. And then on this one, I'm just gonna make a little chartreuse veil. So this would be better, a little bit better in high water. Um, those early spring flows, um, you get that chalkiness maybe on the Betsy or the Manistee that comes out as the swamps start to drain. And I'm just gonna pull that back, make the veil. And there we go. Those are two that sounds great. quick like and that. easy, super effective right. spring steelhead, fall steelhead patterns, your nuke egg, the rag egg, that and great, actually. the egg shooter egg. Then we can so mix up the colors, tie lots of these. Um, again, I really like that Gamagatsu C14S. Pretty much my exclusive egg hook. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Appreciate it. Happy fishing.